So really, I have no idea what I just did to fix this. Alright, today we're going to look at the Trailblazer. We've got an issue with the rear air. The air conditioning works fine. It blows ice cold. Not a problem whatsoever. So we've got cold air that comes out, no big deal. Problem is with the rear air. Got the fan turned on. The trouble is, nothing. No air is pushing out, so the fan is not kicking on. And it's located under that trim in the back. So we're going to take a look at and see why in the world this rear air is not working. It has worked. When I first charged the air conditioning last year, when we took our family trip, we had rear air, no problem. But since then, the uh, fan kicks on for like a second or two at a time, then kicks off, and it'll be a couple of days before it'll kick on again. And it's just really intermittent, extremely intermittent, but uh, the fan does kick on every so often. So let's take a look at the fan behind that trim piece and see if we can determine why that's not working. All right, we're going to get this trim panel off. There are several little screws and tabs that we'll have to pull to get this panel to come off. All right, as you can tell, that wasn't too hard to get off, but there are several clips you got to unsnap. Those screws you got to get out and everything just kind of pulls back at them. Remove this little trim down here. We'll get this out see if we can get this fan working if not i've got an extra fan that i pulled out of my parts trailblazer so let's see what we can find out all right so the first thing i tried was went ahead and turned the fans on and uh, just wiggled the these black and orange wires right here for the fan connector and try to see if maybe there's a loose connection there i got nothing so i'm going to go ahead and pull this fan out and plug in this other one and uh, I know that this one was working. I'll remove these two 10 millimeter bolts to get this uh, metal bracket out of the way. And I can reach the couple of screws it takes to unscrew this whole fan and remove it. All right, I got that metal bracket out. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts down here, two down here as well. These two down at the bottom were rusted and just broke off. All right, with that out of the way, we've got couple of screws to uh, remove to get this whole fan out. There's a screw here, down here, there's one right up here in the top, and then there's this one way down below there. I was able to get a shorter screwdriver down in there and got that one out, and then there's this screw right here we gotta get out. So those are it, to pop this thing off. I'm just gonna unhook the fuse, which I checked, and that's still good. Pick this up and out. Dude just pops right off. And then right here's our connector for the power for the fan. Just gotta pop a screwdriver in there. Okay, there we go. Just get a little screwdriver and lift up on the tab on the connector and that pops off. Alright, got the fan off the parts trailblazer. Let's go ahead and hook this in. Alright, now I'm gonna turn the power to the fan on and see if this puppy works. If it is, then I just had a bad fan all this time. If this doesn't turn on, then it's on to the next thing. Well, we're waiting. Okay, I've got the fan, the power turned on. It's obviously not the fan's issue. Okay, so now we've ruled out the fan. Okay, so I'm getting a little frustrated with this. I've checked all the power on my wife's trailblazer. All the fuses are fine. I checked my little circuit tester, little voltage tester. I've got power to the fan. I just can't figure out why the fan's not kicking on. So I did a little bit of research online and I found there's something that is connected to the back side of this air conditioning that controls or modulates the fan speed. And if that goes bad, it can cause your fan not to work. So with this being the parts trailblazer, I kind of ransacked through here and, and really kind of jacked that all up trying to get this part out. Just want to know exactly what it is that's keeping it on to the back of this case. So I got that piece off. I'll show it to you. It is going to be a pain in the rear end 
to get that off. All right, so this is that control module, whatever this thing is called. This thing attaches to the back side of this condenser case. There, there are two T15 Torx screws that hold this thing in, and there's hardly any room behind it. And then there's this electrical connector at the bottom. So it's facing this way. It's on the on the back side of this plastic case. So getting these T15 Torx screws out are going to be a challenge. So what I've done is I took my quarter inch drive, found my T15 Torx bit thing out of my screwdriver set and took some electrical tape and taped it to my quarter inch socket so that I don't lose this thing. I'm going to attempt to unscrew it one handed by sticking my arm back in behind this case. To give myself some more room, I unbolted a 10 millimeter bolt right there and a 10 millimeter bolt right there. This kind of gives it some freedom to move just about a quarter inch to a half inch. That may be just enough to get my hand back in there. I'm gonna have to curl my arm back around in there and reach all the way behind this case with that T15 socket. All right, I apologize for the poor camera work here. I'm just sticking my hand down there with the phone and trying to record in the pitch black down here where the location of this module is and uh, to see if there are any screws in there because I couldn't feel any screws. Okay, I was able to break it loose. I tried to get my wrench down in there with the T15 Torx and just couldn't quite seem to find the screws. Well, that's because there weren't any in it. And the only thing that really holds this dude in place is this adhesive so yeah no screws in it and since you can't see back there they're, they're so recessed down in there I couldn't tell that there weren't any screws there so I just got my fingers in behind this and pried up and finally it, it popped loose so that's that let me uh, unharness that I'll plug in the one from the parts trailblazer and then I'll plug in the fan and see if that does anything and when I say it's a pain in the butt to get behind there, it's actually more like a pain in the arm. Okay, this is the one from the parts trailblazer. Go ahead and snap this puppy into place. I'll just temporarily plug in the fan. Okay. All right, here goes nothing. So what you hear is that actuator right there on the top is making the noise. I pulled all the fuses on the HVAC for all this back here, just trying to figure out what fuse did what. Everything checked out, everything had power. But whenever you disconnect a fuse or you drop your battery power, like you disconnect your battery, trailblazers are notorious for these actuators getting screwed up. So you have to relearn the thing and there's a trick to it. Yeah, no fan, still no fan. I unplugged my actuator to get it to stop knocking and I unscrewed it, lined up the male and female end of it and set it back down. I hadn't even plugged it back in yet and my fan kicked on and it ran for probably 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. And uh, so I was pretty excited to see that come on. So I grabbed this thing and started to move it back to the back side of that case so I can reattach it and pretty near burn my fingers because this thing got super, super hot. And I'm trying to put the screws into it and I dropped it. So I reached way down in that cavity and I found this laying down in that cavity, which is basically this thing. So this has been replaced before. So apparently this is common with trailblazers. So I need to reach back down there and see if I can find the screw that I dropped. And it seems like there's an adhesive on here. I don't know what kind of adhesive that would be so i'm really wanting the screws so i can screw this and made it up with the uh, condenser thing that's inside this case right here all right i finally got that stinking thing in there i had to use my jerry rig tool and just basically sat like this and then just blindly with my feeling around with my fingertips and finding the screw and slowly working that those screws in so it's in so uh, the fan did kick on for a short time, that little electrical thing got really hot and the fan eventually kicked off. I don't know if I overheated that little that little electrical panel and just blew it up. Who knows, probably just what happened. The fan stopped 
And with the way this fan blows into this cavity here, I'm sure it was all part of keeping that little panel cool. And since I didn't have it in place, I think it may have overheated and hopefully it didn't just blow the circuit board. I'm gonna reinstall this fan and try it again. Okay, we've got all the screws in, even the one that's down back in there. We've got all the wiring put back together. Let's try this thing one more time, see if the fan kicks on. What I'm doing here is trying to align the actuator back up with the peg that opens the damper inside this plastic box. The female end of the actuator gets out of alignment. Whenever you drop battery power, it gets out of alignment and it just really fights itself against that uh, peg that opens and closes the damper that allows the uh, air to flow through there. So what I'm doing is, is trying to manually line up the peg to the female end of the actuator and set it back down in place and see if that won't fix this actuator from clicking. Super, super aggravating. All right, it's blowing now. My actuators were acting up, so I pulled the fuse, waited a few minutes, put the fuse back in, and then turned the key, and just waited for another couple minutes, and then started it, and then turned off the key, turned it back to the on position, and now my uh, fan is working. Some good air coming out of the vents now. Hopefully this thing is fixed and fixed for good. I'm going to turn it on. Got the AC. Got the AC is blowing. Turn this to reverse so that the reverse controls work. Okay. Currently it's off, so I have no no airs coming out. get into the fuse panel underneath the rear seat. Okay, so you want to get out fuse number 39. So according to this, it's that fuse right there. So with the vehicle off, pull that out, wait a minute, put it back in. Once it's back in, you want to come up to the car, up to the ignition. And you just want to turn your ignition to the on position, but don't start the car. With the key in the on position, leave it there for two minutes. After two minutes, turn the key, start the vehicle, and your actuator should be recalibrated. So that's what happened with this thing. So, turns out the fan was probably good this whole time. Went ahead and put the fan in from the parts trailblazer. I swapped out that circuit board that's behind this panel right here. So I don't know if, if that circuit board was faulty and I'm replacing it and got this all working again. But uh, still, when I turned the key, this fan did not kick on. It wasn't until I pulled the fuses and did that whole one minute, two minute thing. And after about a, a minute of the vehicle running and that actuator kind of snapping a little bit, it finally quit and the fan kicked on. This is the, the longest the fan has been running in months to kick on and kick right back off. So that's why I think it may have been the circuit board behind here. It may have just been a little faulty or something. So really, 
I have no idea what I just did to fix this. There's so many little variables here. I don't know if it was solely pulling the fuses or if it was replacing the fan or if it was because I replaced that circuit board behind that air conditioning case. I don't know, but it's working. And hopefully this rear air will continue to work and not fink out on me again. But thank the Lord it's working. Hopefully it will stay this way. Uh, I'm gonna be working on something else with this Trailblazer and I'm gonna to have to disconnect the battery. So I, I look forward to this rear air thinking out on me again. If that's the case, then I'll just do the fuse trick and uh, hopefully recalibrate those actuators. Maybe that has something to do with the reason why the fan won't kick on, don't know. But anyway, if you happen to find this video helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you'd like. Uh, I've got plenty of other repairs on this Trailblazer. Give me a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll, I'll do my best to answer. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. We'll see you next time.